and, uh, and the reclines. And uh, with the song Turn Me Around, then I thought, this is fantastic. So um, I played it out of the four o'clock news. And uh, after my shift, I was called into the office like, don't, don't ever do that again. Don't, don't play, do you play that song again. And, you, you know, you do that again, you're fired. And, of course, red rag to a bull. And um, so the next day I came out the news and said, oh, yesterday I played this great song and I was told if I played it again, I'd be fired. So let's see what happens and played it again. And, um, yeah, I was in a bit of trouble, I must admit, but uh, <laughs> it's a great song. But, uh, yeah, so that, that, was, uh, that, that was my radio days and also working on in television. So after two, three years of working um, in city radio, I got a call from a... TV producer, a guy called Chris Noble, and he had just got the ABC, which is our national broadcaster, to approve this new music show that was going to be on a Tuesday night at 10 o'clock, and it was like an alternative music show. So we had the Sunday night, you know, pop sh show, the countdown show, um, which had a massive audience, but they wanted something for, you know, the people who are into alternative music. And I got a call, did the audition for the TV show and, and got the job. And uh, that was horror. I still remember being horrified, being on set for the first time. Uh, it's very intimidating when you've got, you know, you're in a television studio with a handful of cameras and people everywhere and makeup and lights. And, and then we, and uh, to make it even worse, we actually uh, recorded live to tape. Uh, wow. Um, using, you know, the old paper auto cue. 